How to do exponential and logarithmic curve fitting in Python? I found only polynomial fitting. I have a set of data and I want to compare which line describes it best, polynomials of different orders, exponential or logarithmic. I use Python and NumPy and for polynomial fitting there is a function polyfit. But I found no such functions for exponential and logarithmic fitting. Are there any? Or how to solve it otherwise? For fitting y equals a plus b log x, just fit y against log x. For fitting y equals e x, take the logarithm of both sides gives log y equals log a plus b x so fit log y against x. Note that fitting log y as if it is linear will emphasize small values of y, causing large deviation for large y. This is because polyfit, linear regression, works by minimizing sigma i, delta y, 2 equals sigma i, e minus e, 2. When e equals log e, the residues e equals delta, log e, is almost equal to e slash e. So even if polyfit makes a very bad decision for large y, the a divide by dash y factor will compensate for it, causing polyfit favors small values. This could be alleviated by giving each entry a weight proportional to y. Polyfit supports weighted least squares via the w keyword argument. Note that Excel, LibreOffice, and most scientific calculators typically use the unweighted, biased, formula for the exponential regression slash trend lines. If you want your results to be compatible with these platforms, do not include the weights even if it provides better results. Now, if you can use SIPI, you could use SIPI.optimize.curve underscore fit to fit any model without transformations. For y equals a plus b log x the result is the same as the transformation method. For y equals x, however, we can get a better fit since it computes delta, log y, directly. But we need to provide an initialize guess so curve underscore fit can reach the desired local minimum. You can also fit a set of a data to whatever function you like using curve underscore fit from sippy.optimize. For example if you want to fit an exponential function, from the documentation. And then if you want to plot, you could do. Note, the asterisk in front of popped when you plot will expand out the terms into the A, B, and C that Funk is expecting. I was having some trouble with this so let me be very explicit so noobs like me can understand. Let's say that we have a data file or something like that. The result is a equals 0.84919598317, b equals minus 1.18106816765, c equals 2.2406117654D equals 0.81664389418168. Well I guess you can always use. Slightly modifying Iams's answer.
This results in the following graph.